Okay, so as you can guess by the title of the video, we're going to show you how to build your own hybrid rocket engine with parts from Home Depot. What you're going to need is you're going to need one three quarter inch by six inch threaded pipe, threaded on both ends and not on the inside. Steel, it works, not aluminum. Now you're going to need one, two steel washers. Of course, they need to fit into this here. Uh, so three quarter inch washers, steel, not aluminum. Uh, then quarter inch or eighth inch, these I believe are quarter inch, the inner diameter. Uh, they're probably about, oh, eighth inch thick or so. Two of them. No, that can't be. Probably about sixteenth inch thick. Uh, you're going to need one of these. Just a screw on thingy ma jiggy ma bob, uh, three quarter inch to three eight or no, three quarter inch to half inch is what this is. Brass, it won't be under enormous heat, so it can be brass. You're gonna need some, preferably some copper tubing, just flexible, you can get it fairly cheap. And then you're gonna need two shark bite, three quarter inch to three eighths inch. Uh, female shark bite adapters, which the tube you simply push the tube in here uh, and then you're done. And they can twist and all that just fine and fairly watertight. Uh, however, they do melt. Uh, I believe on the package for the shark bite, it is a three quarter inch to quarter inch. Uh, my brother and I found that for some reason, quarter inch means three eighths inch and three and one inch means half inch or some random crap like that. You'll need two of those. All of this is done, this video is done after our testing, so this one melted a little bit. Still halfway works. Uh, and this is kind of burnt up. But you will also need one of these for the nozzle of the rocket. It's a three quarter inch. Uh, nipple barb thing uh, fits together like that used to have an o-ring in there uh, that burn out in the first couple seconds which that's what the centering rings are for uh, so of course as like I said this is done post launch so you can see there it really melted the brass quite a bit so we're looking into other possibilities but it still works as a nozzle anyways still has that throat constriction so to build it you simply take this put that in there take your two uh, washers uh, you may have to sand them down just a little bit put them in like so and then you take this and after putting your fuel you should use ABS PVC pipe uh, pretty much anything in general shotgun shells empty and cut. Uh, you simply screw that on after you put your fuel in. And then this screws on like so. And then this. Oops. Both of the shark bite adapters are identical, so. Turn this the other way. That screws in there. And it screws together like so. And then your oxygen, you simply hook up a source of oxygen here. Uh, we just use our oxy settling torch as we already spent 150 bucks and retired and wanted to see it work. So we just blew the oxygen in there. What goes through the tube into here. And here you have your fuel, whether it be a PVC pipe, uh, shotgun, sh cut up shotgun shells, uh, ABS. We use, we, what ABS we use as a cut up transition for a rocket. Uh, you, then you take a match or piece, a burning piece of grass with ember on it, put just a very little bit of oxygen flowing through. Once it has an ember, stick it in through the nozzle and let it sit, and just let it sit there a couple seconds and then slowly, ever so slowly, start adding your oxygen. And make sure you are clear and, of course, safety glasses and all that random crap. It keeps you alive. 
but that's that it's fairly simple uh, should run you about probably about 40 bucks for all of this we end up at we went up with a total of about 110 dollars because we didn't know what we needed and bought a lot of stuff and then from there we simplified it down to this where it's about 40 but like 40 dollars and it's one cent or something uh, we did go to Home Depot and Lowe's. I believe the copper came from Lowe's. Everything else came from Home Depot. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, don't uh, buy the Burns-O-Matic oxygen tanks. Those are crap and don't work. Also, their left-hand thread or regular thread and the thing we bought wasn't torque us off. The basic premise of a hybrid rocket is a solid fuel with a liquid or gas oxidizer. Fairly simple, you have your fuel here, a rocket motor body, you your nozzle, oxygen flows in, or nitrous oxide or hydrogen peroxide, whatever oxidizer you use, flows in, reacts with the fuel here, gets burnt in a very oxygen rich environment, it goes through the nozzle, it's compressed, speeds up, expands, speeds up even more, then propels the rocket that way. Uh, the only difference is they are not very efficient when compared to liquid fueled rocket engines or solid rocket engines. They are researching it, but... Mm -hmm. uh, and the main difference between this and a solid rocket engine is that it is throttleable that you can throttle it, uh, which makes it a heck of a lot safer. If anything goes wrong, you just simply cut off the flow of oxidizer, the engine's off. Solid rocket engine, you can't do that because it's already basically reacted, and once it burns, it doesn't stop no matter what you do. Even if you put the water on it or whatever, sometimes that makes it worse. But basic premise of a hybrid rocket engine, uh, fairly simple, fairly easy to build-ish, Be cheaper, a lot cheaper than a solid rocket engine. Uh, it certainly seems a lot easier when you're building them because it's a lot quicker. You simply pop in just some random trash, you screw on the nozzle, and you give some oxygen, light her up, and boom, you got a rocket. Whether or not it produces any measurable, ma major measurable amount of thrust, mm -hmm. not really a chance. The one we made did not. It is not viable as something that could propel a rocket. Its thrust to weight ratio just was almost non-existent. It was way too heavy with nowhere near enough, nowhere near enough thrust. It got a cool looking flame, but not really enough to actually propel a rocket. 